Hey, what's up, guys? It's Paul from Bandstrap. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I wanted to talk about some other pieces in your outfit, not just your jacket and how the Bandstrap works with it, but your shoes are important in terms of your outfit. And to maintain it, to keep it clean, that's key as well. Otherwise, your outfit would uh, look not as good. So let's learn how you can have clean white sneakers. White sneakers are essential in any outfit. It looks really great, uh, very versatile. Uh, and to keep it clean, it's very important for them to look good. So let's get started. What is up guys, Tim the Saint here. And today we are going to learn how to properly clean white sneakers. But these, these aren't dirty enough. I'm gonna need some dirtier sneakers than that. All right. I did briefly see this scene just before, but he definitely does them dirty. Does them dirty, bruh. Okay, now we're talking. Now we've got some proper dirty white sneakers. Clothes. He really did them dirty. So for today's video, oh, I, have I mean, it could be worse. Who has kindly provided the top's all right. Sneakers, which I have completely soiled and their shoe cleaning range, which I'll be able to use during the cleaning process. So in cleaning sneakers, the process I would go through would depend on, first of all, how dirty they actually are and the type of material the sneakers are in. First of all, let's talk about the most common types of material that the vast majority of white sneakers come in, leather and canvas. Option one, if the shoes are just lightly stained, maybe you were out in the park and caught a little mud and they just need a quick fix. Start by wetting a kitchen towel and wiping off the shoe. That's going to remove the superficial dirt and the very light stains. Then you want to use a shoe cleaning wipe. These bad boys work like magic. You can actually tackle most light to moderate stains with only these wipes and it'll take you less than a minute. Mm. So it's perfect when you're on the go and you just need a quick No wipe. way that now, on to option did that. Two, the deep clean. This is what you're going to do when your shoes are in need of a thorough clean. The first step is to remove the shoelaces because we really want to get in there and clean underneath the laces. But more importantly, we want to get the laces cleaned as well. So we're going to throw them in the washing machine. If there are tough stains, you can also coat them in a stain remover and leave them to soak in the solution for about 10 minutes before throwing them into the wash. With white laces, I like to wash them at 40 degrees to really tackle the stains. You want to start again by using a slightly damp kitchen towel to remove any superficial dirt. And then you want to use a dedicated shoe cleaner like this one from Aldo. Now keep in mind, this is not suitable for suede or nubuck. This is specifically for leather, canvas sneakers, rubber soles, nylon, and synthetics. What's cool about this gel is that it comes with a brush. Yeah, suede is to hard to maintain. Shoe, press the brush onto the shoe, gently squeeze the bottle, and scrub the stains and dirt away. Once you've given the shoe a thorough scrub, wipe off the excess dirt with a clean, dry cloth. And make sure you rinse the brush applicator when you're done with it. This is not mandatory, but if you also want to clean the outer sole of the shoe, I like to give them a wipe down with a cleaning wipe. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Finally, once the shoe is nice and clean and dry, do not forget the last step, but definitely not the least, waterproofing them. If they are canvas, suede, or a synthetic material, especially that a waterproof spray. Simply spray the shoe all around at about 30 centimeters distance. And leave the lazy it. way is um, like I don't really clean it like detailed like this. What I usually do, it's kind of gross, but I put it in like a basin uh, that's like just big enough for my shoes. And then I toss in like a little bit of like a uh, laundry detergent, like a strip or like a piece of a strip, you know, those things where you just toss it in. It's like a sheet each. Um, I rip one of the, like a part of the sheet off, put it in and I kind of rinse it, let the shower like water kind of like do its work. So it like actually gets rid of the inside. Cause I feel like my feet sweat and I don't want it to like stay in there. Uh, the more I use it and it kind of starts smelling. So when it starts smelling, I, do this process, put some detergent, put some water in, uh, shake it around a little bit, wait, um, maybe like overnight or something, or, or just like a few hours. And then I rinse it once with the shower after and remove all the dirty water. There usually, usually is a lot of dirty water that comes out. Um, and then I rinse it with the water again, and then I put it back in the basin and put both the basin and the shoes outside so it just air dries. Um, it's like decent enough to keep it maintained. I don't have to do much work at like, you know, looking at each part of the, 
a shoe, like which part's dirty and stuff. I just, I don't even want to spend time on that. I kind of value time. So I just like do the most minimal way to like kind of keep it lasting until the shoes like wear down and it doesn't look good anymore. And then maybe I'll throw it out or sell it for less. Uh, but that's kind of my mindset about it. Um, if you guys want to try a lower maintenance way, uh, that's a, that's a, an option. Them to air dry overnight. <coughs> leather, however, you can use a waterproof lotion like this one, which is not only going to help protect the leather from rain, snow, and potential light stains, it'll also condition and nourish the leather, which will keep it looking good and healthy. Now let's talk about the black. All my shoes are fake leather, so sneakers. don't know if it's gonna help. I'm actually not sure I've ever seen suede white sneakers. I've seen a lot of suede sneakers, of course, but white for some reason feels much rarer of a color for suede. So I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit. I'm gonna use these beige suede sneakers for this. But anyways, when it comes to cleaning suede sneakers of any color, you're not going to be able to use the same cleaning products as for other materials. The most important thing with suede is to keep them waterproofed. This will help a lot in preventing damage and stains. But if they do get stained anyways, you gotta use what I call the magic brush. This brush specifically designed for suede and nubuck has two sides. You wanna use the brush side first to remove the dirt and then gently use the erasing block to remove scuffs and mm, I didn't know it's that was a thing. That. All right, now that we know how to clean your white sneakers, okay. here are three tips to help prevent them getting dirty in the first place. Like a magic so eraser block box thing. But we haven't talked about the frequency. Good to know. Yes, this is not Good a to know. done thing. You have to waterproof them regularly. Around every two to three weeks is a pretty good frequency for shoes that you wear every other day. However, if they are exposed to a lot of water, such as heavy rain, you want to waterproof them again right after that. This will help immensely in protecting your shoes from the elements and prolonging their life. Number two, when your shoes get stained, okay. you want to clean them as soon as possible. Don't let them settle in, tackle it ASAP. Because the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be to get the stain out. Number three, leather is easier to clean than canvas. I love my canvas sneakers as much as the next guy, but I have to admit, Leather is just so much easier to maintain, which is why I think subconsciously I just gravitate towards leather sneakers more often because I know they're going to be easier to clean. And that, my friends, is how I keep my white Got sneakers it. clean. You can check out Aldo's shoe cleaning products in the link in the description of the video, guys. And if you did, share this with a friend who really... Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, shoes are important for your outfits as well, but uh, if you need a holder for your jacket, sweater, uh, um, suit jacket uh, and you don't want to get hot uh, we have a 30% off discount it's a higher discount uh, we do a refund guarantee so just pick one up buy one uh, and then if you're happy with it great if you're not let us know we'll do a refund but uh, yeah thank you guys for tuning in and we will have another video so please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one Hey guys, this is Paul from Bandstrap and just to let you know, we have a 20% off discount going on with Bandstrap 20. It's available on our website called thebandstrap.com and you can use it to tie a jacket, a sweater, a shirt with the mini bands that it comes with so that you can actually free your hands and be able to use your phone more easily and open doors and carry shopping bags. So check us out. We have a guarantee as well. So if you're not happy with it, let us know. We'll do a full refund, but we have free shipping worldwide. Check us out and we will see you in the next one.